Hi, my compassionate friends. My name is Patrick, and I wanted to congratulate the compassionate friends. And 50 years later, you're still helping folks uh, to survive the loss of a brother or sister, or son or daughter, and uh, your grandpas and grandmas losing a grandchild. All very, very sad, as we know. But my little tale actually <clears throat> begins in 2000 after uh, our son Brian passed away. He was 18 and uh, we found the compassionate friends here in Michigan. But as I was going through old letters and pictures, things of that nature related to my brother who died in 1972, his name was Billy, and uh, I came across a letter and I read it. It was written by my dad to the remaining six siblings. Billy was my dad's youngest son, and uh, two weeks after Billy died, my mom died. And so my dad, of course, devastated. He traveled to Florida to see his brother, and his brother had read an article in the Miami newspaper about a new group of bereaved parents who had set up a regular meeting uh, where they would try to help each other survive the loss of their child. And so I read the letter, very sad. And when I looked on the other side, it said Paula and Arnold Shamrich, Shamras, South Florida branch, Hialeah, Florida. This is from the very first chapter of the Compassionate Friends. So in 1973, my dad went to a TCF meeting. And uh, I just want to read you a little bit. This South Florida branch, this is written by Paul and Arnold Chamras. We feel is growing nicely, albeit slowly. And we feel that we have already helped many bereaved parents who were and are suffering both mental and physical illnesses brought on by their grief and loss and by isolation imposed by an unthinking and unfeeling society, by their guilt feelings, by loneliness, and by the loss of motivation and faith in the continuity of life by those so grievously bereaved. Attached are some excerpts from Reverend Stephen's book. So TCF began in England in 1969, but the first chapter was the Shamras in Southern Florida. And here my dad, 1973, attended a meeting there and received a newsletter. Now, I hadn't seen this for 27 years, and here I was at a TCF meeting. And uh, I couldn't help but think that my parents here, they were bereaved. My dad for 20 years, my mom for only two weeks. But nevertheless, I thought about all of the thousands upon thousands of brothers and sisters grandpas and grandmas, moms and dads who have been helped by compassionate friends. In 50 years, thank you to my compassionate friends helping my dad in 73 and helping us in 2000 and continuing to do so, offering your special brand of uh, hope and understanding and support, uh, your love. My son died in 1992, and I heard about it through several people, and I attended my first conference in the, at the end of, or in June of 92 in, I want to say, Charlotte, uh, North Carolina. And uh, just, we went to see what, was, what it was all about, and attended the conference, and then came back and loved it, had all kind of wonderful memories of talking to people who understood everything that you were saying. And who they, it was, um, people talked to each other in, in the elevators, people talked to each other when you were sitting in a restaurant, everybody just talked to each other. And it was a real warm feeling of everything. And I came, my, Rich and I came home, Rich, my husband, and I came home and decided we wanted to start a TCF chapter in our area. And so on the 
anniversary, which would be January 11th, 1993, we started our South Bay Los Angeles chapter. There were, uh, I guess about four of us and uh, their spouses, four um, mothers who had met each other at a support group, uh, just a local hospital support group. Uh, and we started meeting with each other and then we decided to start a chapter. We contacted the national office they sent us some information about what to do, and we just were winging it. We had no idea what we were doing, but we started it. And um, after the first, we just spread the word a little bit. And after probably the first month, we had about 10 people that were already there. We met at the, uh, a local church, and um, they allowed us to be there for free and many people didn't wanna be in a hospital. We didn't wanna connect it with the church, which we didn't. Our chapter has been going since then, since uh, um, 1993. Um, we are continuing to meet in the same place after all of this time. And I feel like the, the Compassionate Friends personally saved my life in the respect that I realized that by helping other people, I was really helping myself and I did I did it all in my son's name, and we talked to all of the people who were in our chapter, and everything that they did, we always did say, I, I'm serving on this, I'm doing this in the name of my son, and, um, and it's sort of giving them a legacy also. <laughs> <laughs>